Shalom everybody and welcome to Rega Beivrit. My name is Rabbi Shapira and I'm so excited to be here with you to Shorashim edition. We are starting a new book and in the book of Bamidbar, meaning in the desert, in the wilderness, we're going to do something very special. I call this book the Chachamim edition. We are going to hear from a different Chacham every week. And every week you will be introduced to somebody else who have us a clue, but our clues this week and throughout the book of Bamidbar have to do with one thing, with the Mashiach. We are going to be focused on the Messianic Rega Beivrit. So the entire book of Bamidbar, we are going to, to go through a Messianic edition of Rega Beivrit. Now, in the parasha this week, Parashat Bamidbar, like the name of the book, we are reading a very interesting passage that I would like to focus on with you in chapter 1, verse 44. It says, Adonai et Moshe ken asu. You have to pay attention not just to the pronunciation to the words, but for the letter patterns that the Hebrew uh, show up. And here in uh, this particular verse, verse 44, Rabbeinu Yoel, one of the Baalei Atosafot, want to point out to us that this is indeed a messianic verse. And that's a wonderful thing about the, about the Hebrew. All the points, all the letters, all the vowels, all the nikudot, all the patterns of the letter, they all are pointing to Mashiach. And this word that start the passage, the Yasu, have a name that is encoded in it. You see, if you break the word Yasu, you notice the word Isav. Now, what is the connection between the Yasu to the word Isav? Listen to this. The last word in the text is also the word Isav. It's pronounced Asu, but if you look at it just phonetically, it's the word Isav. So something very important about this passage is both the beginning of the verse and the end of the, the verse have the word Isav encoded into it. And here is what Rabbi Yoel says, and I quote, Ve'yasu Esav is the remedy for this world and to the world to come. What did Rabbi Yoel mean when he said this very strange statement to us? You see, the beginning of the verse, Ve'yasu, we are seeing the force that trying to overtake the children of Israel. Ve'yasu has a force to us. It's the force of Isav. But as the children of Israel have done all that God commanded them to do, so they have done. Again, what is the word here to do, to work for Avodah? Is the word Asu, which is the same word as the word Isav. What is connection between Avodah or work to Isav? See, Rabbi Yoel explained that the only way that one can overcome the spirit of Isav that is consuming and plaguing everybody is through the action of Asiyah, of doing. That's called Torah. Do you want to overcome Isav in your life? Do mitzvot. Yeshua himself says, let your light shine before men that they will see your mitzvot and they will praise your heavenly Father in heaven. What did Yeshua mean by that? Exactly the same thing that Rabinu Yoel, Baalei Tosafot, point to us. Do you want to overcome Isav? Do you want to overcome the spirit of Isav? What you must do is to take the first Asu, the action, in order to combat the Isav within yourself. What a powerful word for us today. May we will be in the wilderness, in the time of the Galut, 
That's what the wilderness represents. The, the Bamidbar is the time before the Geula. Right now we are in the generation of Bamidbar. We have not entered into all the promises yet. What should we do in those days? That's what we should be doing. Focus on the Asiya. Focus on the Asu. Focus on the doing for this world and to the world to come. We're doing actions in this world in order to prepare ourselves to the world to come. Overcome yourself in this world. And all the promises are ready for you in the world to come. This is the Rega for this week. Shalom, everybody. Mm-hmm.